Do you make these three deal killing mistakes? There are a few things as frustrating as losing a deal. An appraisal comes in low, an inspection reveals hidden issues, or a loan is denied for reasons outside the borrower's control. Those come with the territory of selling real estate and can't always be helped. But when a deal falls apart because of a preventable mistake, that's when things can get ugly. Keep yourself in the clear by avoiding these three common deal killing mistakes. Mistake number one, failing to follow up. Many agents fail to follow up because they assume no news is good news during a transaction. They focus on their responsibilities and rely on the other parties to tell them if there's a problem. This is a huge mistake. Listing and cooperating agents, lenders, and title reps will often try to solve problems before telling the other parties. When they solve the problem successfully, the lack of communication goes unnoticed. And when they don't, precious days are lost where everyone could have been working on a solution. The less time available to solve a problem, the less likely it gets solved before a looming deadline results in a cancellation. Avoid the failure to communicate by creating a spreadsheet with all the parties to a transaction. Choose specific dates you will follow up with each party and add them to the spreadsheet as well as to your calendar. If you haven't heard from a particular party by the date you've chosen, be proactive and reach out for an update. Mistake number two, missing deadlines. This one can put your license at risk. Confusing business and calendar days, forgetting about holidays, and failing to know the time of day a deadline passes are all easy mistakes to make. Start by creating a spreadsheet of all the major deadlines in a transaction. Then confirm the dates with the other parties to ensure everyone is on the same page. This is critical to prevent misunderstandings. Finally, Add the deadlines to your calendar with alerts set for a couple days in advance. If the alert goes off and the items needed to clear the deadline haven't been completed, take action immediately to prevent missing the deadline. Mistake number three, failing to prevent client oversights. This goes hand in hand with the failure to follow up. Buyers and sellers have a lot on their plates during the closing process and oversights can happen. Buyers will take advantage of an irresistible credit card offer, forgetting it could tank their loan. Sellers will mistakenly take the hot tub that was supposed to stay, creating an unpleasant situation at the final walkthrough. Prevent these types of oversights by staying in close contact with your clients throughout the process. Provide them with transaction checklists and lists of do's and don'ts. Remind them about contractual obligations and upcoming deadlines. Trust me, your clients will appreciate it and you'll save yourself potential headaches down the road. P.S. Processes and systems are key to preventing the mistakes above. If creating and following them isn't your strength, consider hiring a transaction coordinator. It is an investment worth making. For more expert tips and strategies, head over to columbusrealestatecoach.com and be sure to sign up for our weekly newsletter. Thank you for watching.